Hello and welcome to my channel and I'm going to talk about a stealth node for mesh testing that's small and it's interesting to see all the different designs that people have come up with so far for their nodes. It's really quite fascinating. A lot of them use the boxes that they were supplied in. I have too, but I'm moving on to something a bit different. Thank you to all the comments I've had on previous videos and questions. Um, thank you to the person who suggested the uh, sw scene switching in OBS, which I just quickly set up the today and it works. So thank you to you. <laughs> and uh, thank you to people who supplied me with bits of hardware. And one kind donor gave me um, something which could be used for a node. This is not the stealth node. <laughs> and uh, this would make a nice antenna, of course, could put a node in it, but it's not exactly what I would call stealthy. It's an interesting shape. There's been some comments about something very similar looking on Facebook, if you look at it, which was designed to be kind of half buried in the ground. We won't go into that. Let's move on. Um, another friend has uh, managed to supply me with some small boxes and at heart, I'm a bit of a minimalist. So I thought, let's build a node in this small box, but I want to make it minimal, which means um, I don't want too many or any cables hanging out of it or antennas for that matter. And this little box is just the right size for a Heltec V3 mesh-tastic node. Um, but the problem is the battery that fits in here will be 700 milliamp per hours. I've got one of those also donated by a, a friend. And um, <clears throat> unfortunately, the Heltec uses so much power that that small battery wouldn't last very long, some hours, but that's it. And I've discovered recently the um, new favorite hardware which is not in the bag anymore because it's in a box and that is the um, rack whiz block system and the board is just a teeny bit too big to go in here so what I've done instead is I've put it in here and this is a mesh tastic node which is running it's a slightly bigger box all of these are available on Amazon these plastic boxes or cheaper from AliExpress if you don't mind waiting this is a node that's actually running with the whiz block device in it and I also wanted to use um, wireless charging so I don't have to have a cable hanging out. Of course, that means there's no USB connection to this node, so <clears throat> it's not easy to flash new firmware into it, but I can open the box and plug in a cable when I need it. I just wanted it minimalistic. Also, there's no antenna on the box because I'm using internal antennas that are supplied with the uh, WizBlock hardware. So... Um, <clears throat> For the charging, in a previous video I showed just the boards, a quick video for the uh, wireless charger system that's also available from Amazon. I put that in a box too, which is here. This is the transmitting portion of the wireless charger. And this is a power bank, which I'm just using to test it. So sort of having cables hanging out plugged into normal chargers plugged into the main. So that's, that's the charger. And I'll show you what's inside this little minimalist node. If I open it up, right way up, there it is. Last time I tried to do this, everything fell out. So um, at the bottom is the battery, 700 milliamp per hour battery. Sorry, this is all out of focus, but my uh, Logitech stream cam doesn't have a macro mode I discovered. So can't focus too close. There's the WizBlock board. You can see the uh, white LED flashing saying that it's doing something. And the antennas are the little strip antenna, well, um, strip-like antennas that are mounted, that come with it. There's one stuck on this inside surface of the box with Bluetooth, and there's another one stuck on the, the other inside surface here on the edge. Um, that's the LoRa antenna. They're very small and thin, and I thought, well, I wonder how well these will work compared to some of the bigger antennas I've been testing, which you might have seen in previous videos. And it seems to work. It actually... Uh, <laughs> Uh, connects to other nodes and I can see quite a few other nodes with it. I can see on my other systems too. So I'm, these little antennas are surprisingly good. And it's showing me that you don't actually need the biggest collinear antenna always. That sometimes something like this that'll just fit in a coat pocket um, can be more useful, especially when out and about in the town or walking in the hills. So um, I take this with me, plus my other nodes where I can plug in the Yaki antenna or whatever, but that's a different experiment. So this is like the middle path. The solution somewhere between this and this is the in-between, with the advantage that if you look underneath the board, there's a piece of white paper stuck on, and that's to provide isolation from the 
coil, the receiver coil for the um, wireless charging that's mounted under there. So it means that the coils just behind this surface here to receive the uh, charging power. And hopefully, if I turn on the power bank first, because the power bank goes to sleep, this charger is now active, sending out its signal for charging, which is uh, supposed to provide up to two amps at five volts. I can't believe that the uh, thin wires that come out of it would handle the two amps without melting, but never mind. And I've plugged the receiving coil in here. Why is that showing that? Oh, wrong one. Receiving coil here, I have plugged into the solar input, which um, is handy because the battery can plug into the battery connector here. So the solar input is meant for charging the battery from solar panels and things that where the current is not very constant and disappears quite often, which is exactly what this uh, wireless charger might be too. So let's see if the lights are still on. No, they're not. I have to press the button. And then I'm going to place the two together. And there we are. That red light on the WizBlock board signifies that the device is now charging. So that's wireless charging through the plastic box, just like a mobile phone when I take it away, it stops charging. Um, Somebody kindly made a suggestion that I could actually put fixed strong magnets inside these boxes so that when you put them together they align correctly because if you move off axis then you do lose the charging signal or charging EMF between the coils. So you have to align them fairly accurately so magnets would be great. And then of course it made me think well I could then use that to um, stick the node in places using magnets like the fridge door or other <laughs> magnetic items, not the car roof because I don't have a car. And then it made me think I have a problem with mobile phones because when I put my mobile phone in my bag, I have a small bag for carrying stuff around, that has a magnetic clip to hold the lid shut. And the problem there is that the magnets really upset the magnetometer in mobile phones so that the compass doesn't work. You can probably notice people with Google Maps walking one way, then they turn around and walk back the other way. I do it all the time because the phone quite often is 180 degrees wrong. Very annoying. They're working on fixing that apparently. It should be a, a fix coming soon. So um, maybe I won't put magnets in these boxes. But I just wanted to show you uh, what I'm doing at the moment, making minimalist style stuff. And maybe if I can switch screens to the correct screen, correct screen you might get a glimpse of what I'm going to do next which is related to this but it's different. Um, I've learned how to use hotkeys in OBS so let's do um, this. No, <laughs> still got it wrong. <laughs> That's what I wanted to show you and that is a Kiwi SDR receiver running here at my place and uh, looking at the very low frequency end from like 50 to 200 kilohertz. Anyway, more of that later. Let's see if we can switch back to me, which should be that one. And hopefully, yep, we will see you in the next video, see what that's going to be about. And please remember to make comments and ask questions. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.